All right, uh, what do you think for Turk and Jerk of the Week, Rick? Oh, uh, this is a tough call. Jerk of the Week, I would probably go with the ridiculous call in the back of the end zone because it's just a flawed, flawed rule. And then if we were to have a co-Jerk of the Week, it would probably be Emmanuel Sanders. Manuel Sanders last week, uh, this on Sunday this night, this week, Sunday night, in the huddle, in the, I think in the fourth quarter of that game with the uh, Bengals and the Steelers, he, uh, Roethlisberger got sacked, forcing the Steelers into a third and 11. Then uh, Roethlisberger was a little slow, groggy, unfocused getting up, and it was clear the Steelers were either going to have to call a timeout or take a penalty and drop to third and 16, and they didn't want to. So Emmanuel Sanders uh, did this. Like they're all standing around, the clock's running down, and they like clearly look at Emmanuel Sanders like, or somebody says, we need somebody to go down, and this happens. Did that hurt? A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Um, so Emmanuel Sanders goes down, and then like it appeared that he couldn't quite figure out which hamstring he was pretending to have hurt. And then, and then he walked off holding his ankle. But then he, but then he sold it really well. Yeah. Then he hops off the field, he goes to the bench, and he threw his head back like, ah, ah, ah. And the Steelers got the extra time. They didn't have to call a timeout. They beat the Bengals 24-17. And what Probably, happened on, like, the next play? So it, was bo it both makes me want to make Emmanuel Sanders the jerk of the week and the Turk of the week. Oh. Uh, uh, all right, so what do you have for, uh, for Turk of the week? I mean, you could save Victor Cruz. I thought Josh Freeman had a good day. Not giving Josh Freeman Turk of the Week. 420 yards, pretty good day. Vic Vincent Jackson had a dominant day, over 200 receiving yeah, I mean, yards. For, for crying out loud, like you got 330 plus yards and four touchdowns in the first half for Drew Brees. Uh, it Adrian was, Peterson could also be Turk of the Week. Yeah, it was a. I, I'm telling you, Matt Hasselbeck for killing me for putting a knife through my heart, knocking my record to four and three in this uh, this this pick one game a week league. Matt Hasselbeck fourth and nine touchdown pass of. 15 yards to win the game to Nate Washington. You know, it's an old school thing. Let's give it to Matt Hasselback. He's never going to win another one. <laughs> it, Matt Hasselback finally gets a coveted Turk of the Week. He has always wanted it. And it's the first time anybody associated with the Young Turks is going to give anything to someone in Elizabeth Hasselback's family. So there you go. Oh. Just we disagree with her politically. She's lovely. She's more than lovely. She's more than lovely. All right. Thank you, Rick.